Hey guys, Miss Bryant here. We're going to do some ocean art with a metal tooling technique and it's going to be super fun. So here's some stuff that you're going to need to get started. You're going to need a pencil, an ink pen, paper, aluminum foil, and you're going to use your math workbook for this if you have it, if not a stack of paper. You need some permanent markers like Sharpies, highlighters, even paint will work, and some cardboard or part of a cereal box if you have that. Now, before we get started with the tooling technique, you're going to have to draw out your favorite animal or ocean scene first on just a plain piece of paper. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. All right, so now that you've got your drawing, what you're going to do is put your math workbook or stack of papers down, then your tinfoil piece, and then your drawing on top of the tinfoil, and you can use a little bit of tape to secure it down at the top, just a tiny piece. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with a blunt pencil. You do not want a sharp pencil for this and poke through. So you're going to go over every single line that you drew again with your pencil and you're going to press down. If you want to make sure that you're pressing down hard enough with your pencil, you can flip up your paper. Just make sure you don't move it at all and see if you can see your indents on your aluminum foil. Once you're all done, it should look like this. You should be able to see the indent that you made with your pencil um, drawing on your paper and onto your foil. What you're going to do now is just use your same pencil. Make sure it has a blunt tip. And you can add some textures and kind of more depth to your tinfoil art. So I'm just coloring over a section of my starfish with my pencil. And you can tell that it's kind of pressing it a little bit deeper than um, our drawing lines were. So you can do this to add some more details. You can also flip it over on the back and press the other way that, so that you've got some parts of your foil that are popping up and some that are pushed down onto your artwork. So you can keep going over different parts until you've got it the way you like it. Um, you can see I've already done a little bit of my seaweed here. Now I'm doing my little seahorse's belly. So one of our final steps is we're going to fold our tin foil over our piece of cardboard or our cereal box, whatever you have around your house. So what you're going to do is just flip over your piece of tin foil so your drawing side is down and start folding in the edges and taping them down. So fold the top and bottom down first and then your sides and you're ready to start coloring. So make sure you use a Sharpie when you're coloring. Um, if you use Crayola washable markers, they're going to wipe right off of the tin foil. Um, you can also use acrylic paint, but just be careful because it's going to stick inside of your indents that you've made with your pencil, so just be careful. Um, and I'm going to show you another technique is that you can kind of color it with a color of Sharpie or even a black Sharpie and then wipe it off while that Sharpie is still wet. So you want to do a small portion at a time of your artwork and then wipe it off. You can even wipe it off with steel wool if you have that at your house, but you want to be very careful not to rip your tin foil drawing that you've made. Hope you guys had fun learning these metal tooling techniques. Um, have fun creating your ocean art today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!